So I'm going to apologise in advance for my voice still being a bit kind of throaty. Last week, middle of last week, I had a fairly, fairly horrible cold. And just basically as I'd started to get over it, I went to rest, which is why there are no videos this weekend. But now obviously having gone to a video or computer game convention, I'm full of it ill again. So there you go. My life is a series of terrible, horrible, nasty, snot-producing infections. Make of that what you will. I've been drinking, I've, like, I've got these, like, dispersible vitamin C things, which contain, like, a billion percent of your recommended daily allowance of vitamin C, but I think it's too late. I probably should have drank, drank that more when I had, before I went to rest. So, rest this year was really good. Um, there are a lot of things that I feel like they did differently this year, than the previous sort of Euro game stuff that I've been to before. Um, the, the two big Euro the two sort of Euro game events that I've been to before. There was one in Brighton where Borderlands 2 sort of just coming out, and then another one in Birmingham where Rome Total War 2 was coming out. And these kind of like big AAA things really kind of dominated the convention space. And it didn't feel like there was much space for anything like anything else. Whereas the layout of everything this year and the selection of games was really good. I like that there was a mix of sort of small games, some really sort of like single developer indie games, and and some big AAA stuff that people really want that kind of thing. So all in all, really good fun. I met lots of people. Uh, my friend Mash, who's Origami Octopus on YouTube. He came over from the Netherlands to come see it and say hello and be sociable. That was fun. Um, and yeah, it was nice. Even though I've come down with a fairly serious case of sort of convention flu, it was nice to spend Saturday running around in a Hawaiian shirt and a quag and a hat meeting people. That was that was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. So really good res this year, I think, and I'm hoping that they'll stick to using, if not Tobacco Docks again. I'm really hoping that they'll stick to London. It's a lot easier. I don't know it's kind of selfish because I live in London, but it's a lot easier to sort of travel and invite people. Like my friend uh, Nashua came over, and it's a lot easier to go, yeah, look, we can pick you up for the night before and after so there's no kind of rush don't worry about it that's really useful thing I like that so yeah there you go anyway right yep shit tanks I'm really not paying much attention to this um I kind of half sleep I also because I couldn't sleep because of all this, this this stuff coming out of my nose I decided that I'd stay up and watch some of the uh, what was it uh, the Wargaming's World of Tanks for North American Finals. Because I've watched the EU Finals, and I thought, alright, let's see what's the, the... Not what the difference is, but what things like. And, you know, it's fine. There were a lot of technical difficulties when I was um, watching it. Like, I think for... Like for every five minutes of gameplay, it felt like there was like 20 minutes of downtime, which didn't look, I'll be honest, didn't look good for board gaming in North America. But you know, technical difficulties happen. It just is a bit of a shame that they were kind of plagued by them for certainly for the Simp versus Cunningham games. But anyway, I don't know how it actually ended. I only watched the Simp versus Cunningham series, and then I thought, right, it's time to to get some, you know, sleep, or at least try to get some sleep. have a busy week ahead of me doing stuff. Oh dear, I went the wrong way. I was too busy thinking about everything else other than tanks. You've got to keep, you've got to keep your mind on the game, especially in the Churchill, like... I, I, saying I really like this tank, and it's slow and a bit clunky and it's a bit I don't want to say not good because 
I think it is a good tank, and I'm I don't like regret grinding for it, but I feel like it could do with. How come you're stood still and you're an ELC Air Max? That should be a thank you. Right, so what I've got, to do, I was gonna say, what I've got to do is follow the Hellcat. Or, hmm. That's things like, I don't want to split up because they've still got, you know, it's four versus five. We've got something of a. Oh my god, did he just get tracked? He did. Right. Let's just wail on him. I was gonna say, let's just wail on him for a bit. I like that this is kind of in like a. Ready to fire. Target released. A sort of a reverse of, like, we're we started on the north, they started on the south, and now we're pushing. Enemy is hit. Direct hit. Right, it's my job just to soak damage. My Churchill is basically undamaged. It's pretty Target much acquired. pristine. Kill this guy off. Got him. And. Last guy is a Hanser. Hmm. And I have no idea where this Hetzer is. He could be anywhere. It's gonna I'm gonna go help with the capture. Like Why not let the Hetzer I know that people are like, oh my god, I've gotta get this like final kill. And certainly, like King Absa, like he's on five, ki he's on five kills. But splitting up and trying to hunt down the tank destroyer, who is is pretty much who can sit. Like, surely a tank destroyer is going to get the first shot against you. He'll hide in a bush. You'll go near him, and that's when he'll get you. Facts. How I can't even tell how much hit points, how many hit points this guy's got. <sighs> Sorry, he just turned and shot him for like no reason, dude. What the shit? Yeah, let's get this cat party started. So there you are. Um, first game with Churchill for the week. First video of the week. Um, no videos over the weekend because Res, Res was good, Quaggans are awesome, I want to do videos on Girls too. There we go. That's that's it, I'm done. Let's just enjoy the scenery together for the end. Oh, nice trees. Very nice trees.